Hello! In this video, we'll take a look at the Node-RED dashboard layout options. Let's get started. To start our dashboard layout, we'll flip over to the dashboard settings, like this, and then you'll see this layout tab. We'll go ahead and add in one tab, and then within that tab, we'll add one group. Now we'll go ahead and add a few dashboard elements. So let's pick a text box, and then we'll do four buttons. I'll drag each of these out. You could also copy and paste if you wanted to do that instead. Let's edit the properties of the text node. And this is what's going to be laid out in the dashboard. So the group, it's defaulting to the group and tab we've already added. We'll change the label to click a button. Now we're not going to set these buttons up to actually do anything. We're just going to mess around with the layout a little bit. Now that we've got that set, we'll click on done. And then for each button, we'll just double click it. By default, the group and tab will be automatically set. And we'll just click done and we'll do that for the rest of these. And then deploy. So now an easy way to get to the dashboard is right here, this little arrow pointing out of the screen. We'll click that and that'll open up a new tab in the browser. And this has our Node-RED dashboard in it. So you can see here's our group, our buttons, and the text box. Now let's go in and customize this a little bit. So we'll flip back to the flow editor. And right here by this tab, you'll see group, edit, and layout. So we'll go ahead and click on layout. And here you'll see these lock icons. We can go ahead and click on each of these to unlock them. And this allows us to change the button size. We can drag down. You'll see it automatically expands down, but it doesn't automatically expand right. If you want some more space on the right, you can just click width and change your width here. Let's make this text box eight long. We'll change each button to be two wide. And we can also now drag these buttons wherever we'd like in this area that we've just set up. And again, you can't go right but you can drag down and it'll automatically make it larger. So let's go ahead and just put this a few down. Now we'll click on done, click on deploy, go back to the dashboard and you can see these buttons are now where we've placed them. And I think this is probably the easiest way to go about changing the layout. You can go into the button properties or any other properties and you'll see where there's the size set here, two by one. We could change it here, but I think it's just simpler to go ahead and do that in the, you can see that now this has changed, but I think it's just easier to go into the layout and make the changes here. So let's go ahead and make each button one wide and we'll drag each of these right next to each other. And then we'll change this text box width to four and then change this down to four wide for the group. Click on done, deploy, go back to the dashboard and you can see now we have our buttons really close to each other. So one more thing we can change is this text is off to the left. If we double click this text box, you see where this layout is. We could change label value and it looks centered here. 
So we'll choose the centered option, click on done, deploy. Now when we go to the dashboard, you can see this text is now centered. Well, that covers it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Stay creative.